Germany again but for the first time in 1993 and we're bringing you all the action from the biohazard creator European tour and uh, first up on our little report I'm going to be talking to Billy and Evan from biohazard and you may may remember that we met up with these guys in Los Angeles at the concrete foundations forum uh, last year so how are you guys doing how's the tour going good good this is our fourth show mm -hmm. um, we've been in Germany in this leg of the tour we hit um, the UK and, and Western Europe uh, before Christmas. Before Christmas, mm -hmm. and now we're doing hit in Germany, Austria, um, Switzerland, and the month of January and February. Mm -hmm. It's going very good. It's cool. Now, when we met up with you uh, in Los Angeles, everybody was talking about the New York hardcore scene. Now, has that gained momentum since we last talked? And uh, do you think it's had an effect on Europe yet? The New York hardcore scene's been around for a really long time, and and it evolved from the, the punk scene which influences a lot, a lot of bands. And I think that a lot of bands are going back to their roots mm -hmm. and it's starting to come through. And band, a lot of bands who are out there who have been doing New York hardcore for a long time, like Sick of It All, Agnostic Front, mm -hmm. stuff like that, they're just getting recognition now for things that they were doing five and eight years ago. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we're not doing anything relatively new. We're doing our own thing. Mm -hmm. you know, but uh, you know, hardcore itself has been around for a long time. And as far as it breaking through, People are just starting to notice it. Right. You know, it's always been there. what we see in, in, in the world and a lot of people are really closed-minded and people are afraid to face up with reality and what's mm -hmm. really happening and I mean there are bands out there that sell 10 million albums and they have no social responsibility to anybody they don't sing about anything of mm -hmm. any importance they sing la 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 I have a girl I have a car mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do this mm -hmm. all night whatever and maybe we're not of that stature yet you know but I think integrity wise I think we've got a lot a lot more mm. because where, you know, there is a lot of racism in the world, so we, we, we have something called Black and White and Run All Over. Mm -hmm. it's, about, it's about fascist attitudes, it's about racism, and it's about, it's about unity between the races and how people in this world obviously don't know how to live mm -hmm. with one another, and if they don't mm -hmm. learn soon, the world's going to erupt like a big volcano. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. racism is a downfall of mankind, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. With all the shit that we're seeing going on in Germany, I mean, you know, we're like, wow, how can this be happening, you know? Mm -hmm. and, the way it looks now is that things are going to change, you know. People, I think, these days are more aware and are paying attention to things more mm -hmm. than they did back in the past. Mm -hmm. You know, I think because of what happened in the past, people are not going to ignore anything again, mm -hmm. you know. It seems to me that perhaps uh, your attitude and mentality has has more to, more in common with rap music than than metal. Would you would you agree with that? We just 
from the streets. I mean, I, you know, you grow up in a city, if you grow up, you know, anywhere you grow up in, if we sing about things that you experience, mm -hmm. does that make you rap? I mean, mm. I don't, I don't, I was just we really don't say... I referring actually to the video for punishment, yeah. because that's like very in your face, very, very street. Is that what you wanted to, to achieve? Yeah, that's there? what we are. That's yeah. all we are. We don't want to do something different would be fake, you know, yeah. not real. Exactly. We don't want to hide behind any any facades of of like you know big metal stone explosions <laughs> and <laughs> bombs and smoke. And we wanted to show people what biohazard was about. So we we called up fifty or hundred of our friends mm. and said, Yo, why don't you guys all come down? Everybody just be yourself, and we're gonna show show the rest of the world what Biohazard in Brooklyn and mm -hmm. what, you know, what punishment is about. Danny and Bobby from Biohazard have joined me now because the whole band wanted to take part in this interview and uh, we're going to talk some more about uh, the album Urban Discipline. Now, do you see, do you guys see discipline as the answer to any problems and in what, in what way are Biohazard disciplined? Um, I think what, what Biohazard, what we're trying to say with Urban Discipline is that a man or woman, whatever, you know, <laughs> you're uh, molded, you know, by your surroundings. You know, mm -hmm. the character that you become when you be become mature is mm -hmm. uh, has to do with, you know, your surroundings. Of the course. food you eat, the people you're with, you know, the, the lessons that you learn, mm -hmm. you know, uh, just things in life that you go through. And when you go through a lot of struggle and in harder surroundings, there's more discipline involved mm -hmm. in succeeding in life, you know, just mm -hmm. surviving. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I think that discipline in anything will work, you know. Mm -hmm. If you work hard at your music, you're going to do something with it, mm -hmm. you know, that's what we're doing. Yeah. We, if we didn't come from where we come from, I don't think we'd be able to uh, kick our music the way we do, mm -hmm. you know. It's the most important thing in our lives. It's the only mm -hmm. thing that, that we take this seriously, it, mm -hmm. is, you know, the band. There's, there's nothing else for us aside mm -hmm. from biohazard. Mm -hmm. What we do, we're just so intense about you know, there's just, there's, there's no mistaking it. That's all there is in our lives, is biohazard. It's life. You know, this is our you life. Know? That's why we're not fucking around. Mm -hmm. If we want to stage. If we want to mm -hmm. fuck it up and not be serious about it, we will have no life. Mm -hmm. So we have to be serious about it. Right. Because okay. before the band, we had no life. You know? Right. I mean, if it wasn't for this band, I'd probably be fucking dead now. You know, or I don't know where I'd be, because I was living a very negative lifestyle, like everyone was saying before. Right. The band's been very therapeutic for all of us. That's great. We're very serious about it, man. I mean, it seems to me that there are four very strong characters in the band, and I know that you all contribute. Um, is it sometimes difficult under those circumstances to get to get things done? And do you sort of have fights and sort of arguments amongst yourselves, or is yeah. it like very bro type of thing? Well, we have like like good tension. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like we do fight the same way. I mean, you put any rats in a cage, they're gonna yeah. fight. Yeah. But uh, with us, it's not like a violent, hateful thing. It's more like who wants the best for what, you mm -hmm. know? Because cause we are all creative and, and uh, you know, sometimes we butt heads a little bit, but mm -hmm. we always, you know, we, we want to see what's best for the band. And sometimes mm -hmm. one guy's vision disagrees with the other guy's mm -hmm. vision. And we try not to compromise, because compromise is kind of like mm -hmm. selling it all short. And mm -hmm. it's too big to sell anything short. Mm -hmm. So it, it sometimes takes a little fighting and arguing and, and clawing mm -hmm. and stuff to get to the point. Mm -hmm. But when we do it, it, it works, it pays mm -hmm. off, you know, mm -hmm. it's always worth it. It's also a matter of respect. Appreciate the lyrics, or do you think they're just having a good time with the music? Bit of both. Both. Yeah. A bit of both. You know, some kids are, are out there. They don't speak a word of English, but they're like, yeah, you know, they they jamming and they're coming mm. on stage. And then you'll have another kid who, after the show, will come up to you and go, "Yo, man, that song, those words, same thing happened to me. Mm. And thank you for writing the song." And I'm like, "Wow, you know, <laughs> that's a payoff." That's really satisfying. Yeah. It that's seems true. to us like a lot of the a lot of the people in Europe, like uh, the the attitude in America. Not, not everywhere, but a lot of what we experience is, you know, everybody just wants to kind of have a good time. Here, it seems very political. 
-hmm. they, they really want to know what you're all about and what you sing about and they want to make sure that it's cool mm -hmm. before they even listen to it mm -hmm. you know and they'll form an opinion before hearing your music just from somebody else telling you about your lyrics mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it, it's it's very important to people here and that's something that when we first came here it caught us off guard you know mm -hmm. we didn't realize it was such a big deal <laughs> I mean to us what we write about is very serious and it is a big deal but we were used to American audience who just want to hang out and right. fuck and drink we don't and care if you're a vegetarian or yeah exactly a pacifist or a satanist or mm -hmm. you know but it's cool that people Isn't are involved here and they, they try to mm -hmm. be intelligent and educated educated about yeah. their political views and stuff. Yeah. You know? yeah, it's cool. It's, it's cool. made us think a little differently about how we write. That was a brand